I'm at Launceston Rugby Club, home to the Cornish All Blacks. Situated deep in the heart of Cornwall, Launceston Rugby Club's history is one rich in traditions and Cornish heritage. Launceston Rugby Club was founded in 1948 and they currently play in National League South 2. I was invited to attend one of the under-15s training sessions and spoke with coach Ian Goldsmith about the playing numbers in youth rugby at the club. There's been an increase, increase in, in boys playing rugby. What we have noticed though is that as the boys start to get towards their, their later teenage years, that's when the numbers certainly drop off. How many of these players go on to play for the men's? Well, hopefully, we want them all to play for the men's. That's, that's what the aim is. That's, that's, the, that's the point of the coach, to try and get as many through the junior rugby through to the senior ranks as, as possible. You know, that's, that's what we'd like. That's what we'd like to happen. Having had a successful season on and off the pitch and reaching the Cup semi-finals, the future of the Cornish All Blacks is looking bright. Despite a difficult season on the pitch for Lords and Men's, the junior setups continue to thrive with playing numbers at an all-time high. The recent rise in junior players has been as a result of an increased interest from the surrounding community. I spoke with Sarah, who offered her opinions on the club's accomplishments. Um, obviously parental input, so parents who are keen and interested themselves in making sure their children get here, transporting them, etc. Um, it's very much a small town, so there's, there's, a, and there's still sort of a, 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 a rugby, um, or an underlying rugby um, history, I suppose, in and around Launceston and Cornwall, but particularly Launceston, I suppose. So some, some of the people, some of the parents here actually play rugby themselves and are bringing their children back to the same club that they came to. The, the coaching team, we've got four coaches, um, really keen, um, you know, working with the boys in different ways, as, um, understanding that some of them um, have got different skills to others, so working alongside them and then bringing the whole team together to make it um, just, well, obviously fun, sport is fun, but obviously a, a, you know, a winning team as well. This winning ethos is encouraged by the coaching staff and the relationships they have with their players. Not only do they value the team, but also the players as individuals. These relationships are built over many years and also rely on the willingness for parents to help out, as Mark explains. My lad, basically, I, I brought him down here when he was um, six years old, uh, joined the under-sevens, and uh, as, as tends to happen with the dads down here, once you're still on the sideline, it doesn't take long before someone says, you look likely, get on the pitch and hold a tackle shield or, or throw a ball around with the boys, and the chap who sort of asked me to get to help him very quickly ducked out and left me as the person with the whistle and the person in charge of the boys basically. The dedication and commitment from both the players and coaches is a testament to Launceston Rugby Club. The connections they have forged and the enthusiasm they share is a great example of the positive impact grassroots rugby can provide. Yeah I'm definitely looking uh, to develop at Launceston. Uh, it's a great club and I've really enjoyed playing here. Uh, I've got high hopes about us getting definitely to the final. Uh, this season we only lost to um, Truro 8-0 in the semi-final. <laughs> so, uh, but a lot of teams are progressing at the minute, so it's going to be difficult. But high hopes for we're going to get there. Lords Rugby Club continues to go from success to success. Elias McGill reporting for Jam Live. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs>